more than 50% of the way through the challenge and you are 50% of your meals that are plant-based. You are doing amazing things. This week, we're going to look into some more fun food. Yes, that's right, the barbecue. It's time here in the Northern Hemisphere where I am to get out the barbecue tongs and start eating outside again, which is really delightful. Given that, I'm going to share a few amazing barbecue friendly plant-based meats that you will love. This is Plant Your Life, a channel dedicated to helping you eat more plants while keeping your normal diet. That is right, helping you with your health, reducing your eco footprint and eating with a clear conscience by changing some key ingredients. You meet all three goals more and more each time you implement something in your weekly diet by following this series. Well done. Now, before we get into the barbecue, tell me, how did you go with the stew last week? Was it meaty? It's so funny because Gaz from Avant Garde Vegan, the YouTube channel, link up here, released a video this week using jackfruit that was an amazing compliment to the stew. If you do it his way, which I highly recommend, it's a link there. Very cool. Give it a go. Now, tell me below or comment on the Insta at plantyourlife.fun how you went with the stew. It is so delicious. Did you think so? Did you have a reaction to eating all that fiber? Your gut biome would have loved you, but maybe you were lacking all the right gut bacteria to eat so much fiber just yet. So it is really worth a look. Look, check out the link below or over here for more on your gut bacteria and how to determine what you might need to eat for that. The basic premise is that everyone is different and the more variety that you eat, the healthier your gut is. Now, if you like that idea, then please like this video. Okay, let's talk sausages, burgers and yummy barbecues. The fun thing about fake meat is how similar it behaves to animal protein. A very biased study has shown that Beyond Burgers against Cow Burgers actually improve your health, but they look and taste just the same. Now I'll leave a link to the study below. It was funded by Beyond Meat, so that's why I say it was biased. There was a mention of how they avoided bias by going through different committees and this and that, but a lot of the pro-beef studies that are out there are funded by the animal ag industry, and it'd be bad for my credibility not to point this out to you. So make sure you check that on any study that's cited. So there are stacks of taste videos out there. I won't talk about that as I personally haven't eaten a beef burger for a couple of years, so my opinion is probably a bit biased because I think they're really close. Sausages, on the other hand, can be amazing. And I can really comment on those because I used to eat them, the meat ones and the pork ones a lot. I really, really like these sage and rosemary ones from Linda McCartney. They're my favorites at the moment. The sausage for me is all about a mechanism for delivering mustard and tomato sauce or ketchup, you might think of it. Getting that right mix of herbs and spices. And this one is perfect for me. So finding that right one for you is good. Now I've tried all the others. There's the Bratwurst from Beyond. There's Linda McCartney's got two or three others which aren't as good. There's one from Naked, the guys that made the mints that I really like. That's got to be my second favourite when I can find it, but I find it really hard to find. Overall, this category is far better quality on average than the disgusting sludge that the meat industry serves up and calls a sausage. Blech. Blah. And remember the sausages at uh, sausage fairs can be disgusting. Now, I haven't gone into the extent of making my own seitan meats, but I understand that you can. There's this channel, Sauce Stash, link in the description, making ultra realistic steak with, with a mushroom. It does a great job of showing you how to use plants to make amazing things like steak for the barbecue. I also mentioned jackfruit. It is a great ingredient to turn things meaty that 
then become plant-based. And there's some really incredible recipes, links in the description. Overall, this week is all about finding some great fake meats that work for you. Reach your right mix of salt and spices and therefore works. These fake meats are often not so healthy. So limiting your intake to once or twice a month is probably best, especially if you're a health nut like me, or once a week or so if you don't care so much. They are far better than the animal-based alternatives on so many of the risk macro macros, like saturated fat and trans fat. Salt, on the other hand, they can often be a little bit more. Check out this video from Dr. Greger who discusses that in depth. There's a bit of a summary here. The salt is definitely a bit high, like I just mentioned, but it's outweighed by all the other benefits, in my opinion, on the fats and things like that. That was amazing. So this week, when you go shopping, look for a meat alternative for your next barbecue party and reduce your bad fats and cholesterol intake while still enjoying a beer around the barbie and having a good time. Now with this change, you are hitting 16 out of 21 meals fully plant-based, which is an amazing work. You're at 76% of your meals plant-based. 76%! That is incredible. And without any really big shifts, just a few short weeks and you have made some sustainable changes that were really easy to implement, right? Tell me in the comments how you're going. Because that is it for this week. Thanks for the early like. That really helps the channel and it spreads the word. If you are new here, you might consider subscribing or check out the series introduction. You can also visit plantyourlife.fun where you can start over and get a free email weekly for the entire series one to bite this off one bit at a time because this is episode seven. If you know somebody that wants to increase their plant intake, then please share this video with them. Now, over to you. Share below what was your favorite plant-based barbecue meat. What have you tried? Maybe you've fallen over or fallen off the plant-based wagon. Share below in the comments and I can help you get over the hurdle of reducing your meat, fish and dairy intake. I'll see you later. Have a great day.